Hi there. Uh, inequality features quite heavily on many AS microeconomic multiple choice papers. Uh, so here's a question uh, first have a go at. It's a question on the Gini coefficient. So the graph shows the value of the Gini coefficient for the UK based on the distribution of household disposable income uh, between 1979 and 2005-2006. Our question is what could explain the change in the value of the Gini coefficient during the 1980s? Keep in mind, of course, the Gini coefficient is a measure of inequality. It uh, goes from zero, where there's no inequality, to a maximum of one, where there's perfect inequality. Here's your chance to have a go at the question. Press that pause button, and I'll be back in a few seconds with the right answer. OK, so we're asked uh, what could explain the change in the value of the coefficient during the 1980s. Well, reading off the chart, of course, the value of the Gini coefficient went up from 0.28, uh, or 0.28 in 1982, rising to 0 0.35, 0 0.36 by the end of the 1990s. Quite a significant increase in income inequality. So we're looking for an answer which explains the rise in income inequality. Uh, an increase in the rate of income tax is, is going to have a reverse effect because income tax is actually, broadly speaking, a progressive tax. Marginal tax rates go up as incomes rise. A minimum wage would actually help reduce income inequality if it, if it helps increase the pay of people towards the bottom end of the labour market. C looks plausible. An increase in wage differentials, the pay gap in other words, between skilled and unskilled labour. That sounds plausible. A decrease in the level of dividends received by shareholders. Well, shareholders, owners of wealth, of course, if they receive dividends, that would add to their disposable income and make inequality worse. But it does say a decrease in the level of dividends, so that's obviously not the right answer. Which means that the correct answer to this question, I hope we got it, is going to be C. An increase in the gap or the differential between jobs which are highly skilled and well paid and relatively unskilled jobs whose pay is relatively lower in the labour market. So there's our question on the Gini coefficient.